Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Nemechek, and this uh, video blog is about what is the autonomic nervous system and how does it break. Um, the simplest way to kind of understand what the autonomic nervous system does is you think of it as the automatic nervous system. It runs all the machinery in the body that you can't consciously control. So in other words, you can control how much you wiggle your hands. That has nothing to do with the autonomics. But you cannot control how quickly your stomach empties your food. Okay, You cannot control how the blood pressure your brain is regulated. You cannot control how your hormones fluctuate. These are all regulated by the autonomic nervous system. Uh, there's two branches called the sympathetic and parasympathetic. Uh, some old terms for those are the fight or flight and the rest and digest uh, branches. We don't really uh, use those terms anymore. But um, so it has this kind of, you think of this as kind of a right and left hand uh, uh, structure that you have the sympathetic and parasympathetic from the brain down kind of regulating all organ function. And so, for instance, your sympathetics, when it's dim light, they dilate your pupils, and the parasympathetics on a bright day will constrict your pupils. So they have this kind of oppositional effect in, in many cases. Um, they control all your organs. Kidney, liver, intestinal tract, which I call your intestinal, your intestinal uh, conveyor belt, your heart, your blood pressure, heart rhythm, bladder, uh, control all your uh, hormones that you're making so like testosterone in men and estrogen progesterone in women and insulin and all sorts of things they're doing that and we're discovering they have the autonomics have a, a rather significant effect on regulating your immune function um, in particular we know the most about is that it controls inflammation throughout the entire body the brain your joints everywhere all right, that inflammation cannot occur without permission from your autonomic nervous system. So uh, there you have it. So the autonomics run the whole show. All right, now let's talk about getting, how does it break, really? The most common concept for breakage is just a concussion. What we're learning now is We'll talk about athletes. Some athlete gets a concussion and, you know, they're having balances off, they're dizzy, they got headaches, some things like that. And um, most of their symptoms, we now understand, are due to damage to the autonomic nervous system. Now, not completely, because you can get a concussion and end up with depression from that. Uh, that's damage to a different part of the brain called the hippocampus. That's not really part of your autonomics. But these overt kind of things that we think of with a brain injury are primarily from the damage to the autonomic nervous system. And, and as I've talked about in other videos, most of them are due to, because you can't get the right blood pressure up into your head, all right? So physical injuries, uh, if you imagine these are nerves, you slip and hit your head, snap. Okay, the shearing forces, we can actually see damage in the brain tissue, okay? Um, now, the good news is, if everything works right, you ought to fully repair that damage within just a couple weeks, all right? Now, other ways you can damage the autonomics. Emotions. Now, emotions can uh, cause the autonomics to be damaged, and, and the, the number one case of this is uh, broken heart syndrome, where grandma dies and grandpa dies in a couple days. We now are understanding grandpa suffers massive damage to his nervous system, his sympathetic branch in particular, uh, and we believe it is damage you can see in a microscope. When you try to mimic this kind of event in uh, laboratory animals, it's damage you can see in the microscope from emotions. Pretty intense, huh? And then you can have inflammatory damage. So this is the immune system surging up these inflammatory cytokines. So these cytokines, um, uh, can be released from a fracture, especially bigger bones like your legs or your arms, from uncomplicated surgery. Say so if the abdomen or the chest, just the stress of surgery, okay, releases these cytokines, can damage your brain. And then vaccines, 
we have a number of animal models showing that vaccines can damage the brain. Okay, so physical things, emotional things, inflammatory things. Now, I used the phrase in some of my posts about like physical concussion. I also talked about emotional concussions and inflammatory concussions. We don't really use those terms in, in the neurosciences, but it's just a phrase that helps people kind of get their head around what I'm talking about. So there you have it. The autonomics are the automatics. They run your entire body, okay? Uh, and they can be damaged in three ways. All these different ways should be repaired within a few weeks uh, fully. And if they aren't, then that's when you need the Nemechek protocol. Take care now. Bye.